Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can create a menu bar in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, menu bars. Menu bars are found underneath the controls dropdown menu. So drag and drop one, place it anywhere that you wish. I'll place mine in the top left corner of my pane. And by holding down one of the sides of your menu bar, you can expand the dimensions of your menu bar. I'll expand mine so that it takes up the entire width of my pane. Now, if you were to head to hierarchy, there's a hierarchy of nodes within a menu bar. By default, there are three menus found within my menu bar, file, edit, and help. You can add menus, delete menus, or change the text of a menu. Let's say I would no longer like this edit menu. I can right click, then go to delete, and it's gone. To change the text of a menu, we can either double click on our menu or we can go to text and change it here. Let's say help is now help me with a bunch of exclamation points. Now you can add a menu by going to the menu drop down menu and there's a bunch of nodes related to menu bars. So we are looking for a menu node and let's say we would like a new menu between our file menu and help me menu. So I will drag and drop this and place it between my file menu and help me menu within my hierarchy. So I will drag and drop this and place it about here. And I'll give this some text of something because I can't think of anything. As of now, we have three menus within our menu bar, file, something, and help me. We can preview our program by going to our menu bar found within scene builder, then going to preview, then show preview and window. So here are the three menus that we created file, something, and help me. If you were to click on one of these menus, this will display a drop-down list of different menu items, and these are separate nodes. So to add a menu item, click on the plus button of one of your menus. Let's say we would like to add more menu items to our menu node. By default, there is a close menu item. So to add a menu item, go to the menu item node found underneath the menu drop-down menu, then drag and drop it and place it underneath a menu of your choosing, and we can give this some text. Let's say this will be a new menu item, and let's preview it, show in preview, file, new, close. Let's add another for practice. What about a save menu item? So that would be menu item, drag and drop it. I'll place this after new, change the text to save. Let's preview. Underneath file, we have new, save, and close. Now there's also this separator menu item. This separates different groups of menu items. So this is basically just a horizontal line that is drawn across. So I'll demonstrate. So I'm going to go to preview, show in preview, and between save and close, we have this horizontal line. Basically this will separate different groups of menu items. This is a separator menu item node. Another interesting node is the check menu item node. So this gives us the ability to toggle between being checked and unchecked. Let's say that we have some sort of auto save feature. So I'm just going to name the text of this check menu item, auto save, then preview. So with this check menu item, we can toggle this on or off. So this is a check menu item node. Now there's also radio menu items. We can only select one radio menu item from any toggle group. So let's say we have some additional options. Let's say we have option one and then a second radio menu item, which will be named option two. Let me place that here. And we want to be sure to include them within the same toggle group if we can only select one of these radio menu items. So let's say that this toggle group will be my group, I suppose. And let's do the same for our other radio menu item. Okay, let's preview it. Show in preview, file. We have option one and option two. We can only select one of these options because these are radio menu item nodes and they are within the same toggle group. Now to link a method call to one of your menu items, click on a menu item, head to the code dropdown menu, and within on action, list a method name that you plan on defining. Let's create a method named new method. So before we head to our controller class, let's make sure that our controller class is linked. Let's save and head to our controller class. 
Now make sure that you update your FXML file. You can always refresh your project by right clicking, then going to refresh. Now we'll need to define that method, public void new method. All we'll do is print a message to our console. You selected the new menu item. Okay, let's run it. Here's my menu bar. I have three separate menus, file, something, help me. I have a bunch of different menu items within this menu of file, new, save, autosave, option one, option two. So we linked this new method method to my new menu item. If I was to click on this menu item, it will invoke this method of new method, which will print, you selected the new menu item. Now, before you go, I'm going to show you all how we can use a keyboard shortcut to select one of these menu items. What we need to do is add an accelerator, and we can do that within Scene Builder. So within Scene Builder, let's head to our hierarchy, and I'm going to add an accelerator to our new menu item. That can be found underneath Properties, then go to Accelerator, and we need a modifier and a key. Let's set the keyboard shortcut to select our new menu item to be what about Alt and N? So the modifier will be Alt, let's say Alt down, and the main key will be N, N for new. Okay, so let's save, then head back to our controller and run it. Make sure that you refresh your project as well. Now let's run it. So next to my new menu item, we have this keyboard shortcut of Alt plus N. Let's try it. So I'm going to hold down Alt, then type N. You selected the new menu item. Well, everybody, that's how to create a menu bar in JavaFX. Don't be afraid to smash that like button, drop a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.